The following are a few passages from a lecture given many decades ago, I believe in the 1960s, if not before, by Alan Watts, who is considered to be the West foremost interpreter of Buddhism, Hinduism, and Taoism. And in spite of his reputation as a philosopher specializing in the uh, ancient Eastern religions and philosophies, uh, I was stunned at the uh, prescience of the man with respect to technology. And I just wanted to read a few passages from this book, which is uh, a transcript of this long ago lecture. Electronic networks that so many people are concerned about, telephones, radios, televisions, computers, and so on, is merely an extension of our nervous system. Advancements in the electronic network are happening at an astonishing rate. Before you know it, we'll have boxes inside our homes with little screens on them that will enable us to key in a given code and access any book of our choosing in the Library of Congress, and we'll be able to do so at our own rate and pace. We'll also soon have the ability to arrange lasers in such a way as to create a three-dimensional image in color that we can project in a certain area and even walk around inside it. And when reproductions become so technically perfect in this way, we won't be able to tell the difference between the reproduction and the original. When you get a phenomena like this, it raises the question of where a person actually is. Some people predict that it's only a matter of time until our ordinary telephones disappear and are replaced by individual devices about the size of a pocket watch. One side will have a TV screen and speaker. The other will entail a set of buttons you can use to activate various functions or dial world information for any given individual. With the development of aircraft, roads are slowly becoming anachronistic, and the wires and connective fibers involved with all sorts of communications are also becoming obsolete. As new technologies emerge, the connecting links of older forms disappear. At some point in the future, electronic communication will even take the place of air travel, because with the power of lasers, I'll be able to recreate myself in front of my father in England, just as if I was sitting in the same room with him. We can conceive, as some science fiction writers already have, of a rather appalling situation in which we never need to leave our place of residence.